Introduction to Similar Shapes. Similar shapes are the same shape but different size. Like this example I have here. And you get similar shapes because they are an enlargement going this way or a reduction going that way of each other. Their corresponding angles are equal. We'll talk about corresponding in a minute. And corresponding sides are in equal ratios. And we'll talk about what both of those mean. But that is the characteristics of similar shapes. So I have here a pair of similar shapes and I'll use this to discuss a couple of these factors. They're obviously the same shape, different size, and this copy is an enlargement of the original. You will often see labeling done saying if this is angle A, this matching or corresponding angle is A with a little apostrophe and that reads as A prime and it just means think of it as new A this was A I've now got new A so this is B prime or new B and C prime new C this is the smallest angle in this triangle the two smallest angles match they're corresponding this is the largest angle. The two largest angles match, they're corresponding. So it's basically saying, if you could um, line these up, and in fact, we often do line them up. Sometimes I'll enlarge it and move it around and it won't be in the same spot, but every so often, you can see how the enlargement happened because it all comes back to one particular point. So you can see based on this enlargement that point A became point A prime, point B became point B prime and so on. So this point here, if we can see that point in a diagram, O, the origin, is the center of enlargement. Because this was an enlargement, I enlarged that and I can see where everything's come from to get to there. It's just a little weird thing that it gets used as notation at times. So corresponding angles are the matching angles that are in the same position on the shape. Smallest, medium, largest. You can usually find which angle matches which other one. If you can't manage it, rotate the shapes so they line up, so they're not, you know, one's facing this way and one's facing that way, and then it becomes more obvious. Corresponding sides, so side AC corresponds to side A prime, C prime. It's the longest side in the shape. They match. Medium side, Oops, the medium side was over there and the shortest side was there. So those pairs of sides match. Corresponding angles are equal, says angle A is equal to angle A prime. But corresponding sides are in equal ratios. Says that if I measure side AC and side AC on the new shape and write the ratio of the copy over the original. This is an enlargement, so this one's the copy, and when you've got the prime, that says that's the copy shape. This is one, two, three, four, five, six grid squares 
over 1, 2, 3, that's 2. Every pair of sides, when I do the copy divided by the original, will give me 2. If I measure this one, A prime B prime is 2.2 compared to 1.1. 2.2 over 1.1 gives me 2. Every pair of corresponding sides is in the same ratio on this shape. And in fact, 2 is what we call the enlargement factor in an enlargement, or a scale factor. So the scale factor, which often gets the abbreviation K, is found by doing the length on the copy divided by the matching length on the original. Now, if it's an enlargement, K will be greater than 1. So this is the enlargement factor 2 which says every length on this shape has been multiplied by 2 to get this enlarged shape. If it's a reduction, k will be less than 1, a fraction between 0 and 1, because if I multiply each side here by, say, 1 half, it will shrink down in size. So you get your enlargement factor or your reduction factor by doing a length on the copy divided by a matching length on the original, a pair of corresponding sides divided out. If you are told that two shapes are similar, so e.g. for the following similar shapes, then one pair of sides is enough to find the scale factor. So when I did 6 over 3 is 2, if I know these are similar, then great, I know the scale factor is 2. If you want to check to prove that two shapes are similar, you must check that every single pair of corresponding sides divides out to give you the same scale factor. So that is the scale factor, the length on the copy divided by the length on the original. When it's an enlargement, K, the scale factor, is greater than 1. When it's a reduction, it's between 0 and 1. So for the following similar shapes, state the pairs of corresponding sides. State the pairs of corresponding angles, find the scale factor, and find X. So I'll talk about how. It's worth noting that they haven't done a and A prime, they've done just two different sets of letters. So we don't actually know if this was the original or this was the original, and I'll tell you how we work that out once we get down to our scale factor. State the pairs of corresponding sides. Well, AB corresponds with EF. They've got an uh, acute, the obtuse angle and an acute angle, and the others are all right angles, so it has to be this. AB and EF. BC corresponds to FG. CD corresponds to GH. And AD corresponds to EH. So there we have question A. Pairs of corresponding angles. Now I know this seems really basic, but we do just want to know that we've got what is a corresponding pair of angles? So A matches E. B matches F. C matches G. And D matches H. We can, instead of the AND, um, use the notation for corresponds to and I'll just have to double check before I put it in the video that I've remembered it rightly so I'm going to say and for the moment um, so A and B find the scale factor now 
we don't know which one's the copy, and I know, know that my scale factor k needs to be copy over original. Here's the trick. The shape with x on it is the copy. So that way, the copy over original says, well, in that case, this will be the larger one. This was an enlargement. And to get x, I'm going to need an enlargement of 3. If we had an x here and a y over here, then we'd have to find two different scale factors, one where this was the copy to find the x, one where this was the copy to find the y. But we need the scale factor, and we stop and check, what am I finding? I'm going to be finding x. This one's the copy. Pick a pair of matching sides. Let's go CD and GH. Copy over original is 3 over 2. You might as well leave it as a fraction, but you could take it to 1.5. That is your enlargement factor. And to find an unknown, all you need to do is multiply its corresponding side by the scale factor. Just our little instructions there. So to find x, x equals its corresponding side times the scale factor of 1.5 and 3 times 1.5. If you want to grab a calculator, you can. Or you can work out that that's 4.5. So we've gone through what similar shapes are, their characteristics, the notation we use, the scale factor, whether it's an enlargement or a reduction, and some of the types of questions that we'll hit. One type of question that you might get is being told a scale factor and asked to scale a shape up or down. So if they gave me this original and said enlargement, enlarge it with a scale factor of 3, I would multiply all the sides by 3 and draw it exactly as it is there with the angles the same but with the new sides. So this would become 12, this would become 6, this would become 9, and then I'd join up this side here. So you can use the scale factor to make a new copy.